Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and this is some examples on separation of variables. So let's go ahead and get started with this worksheet. And it says, for number one, we need to find the general solution of each differential equation. So the idea here is that we do want to separate the variables. So I want to put the dy's and y's on one side, and the dx and x's on the other. So starting with this one, let's go ahead and do that. And we will say that this becomes y squared dy equals e to the x dx by simply cross multiplying. <clears throat> so I brought that there, brought that there. At this point, we want to get rid of the dy and the dx. And the way to do that is we want to take the antiderivative. So we're going to integrate each side. On the left side, we end up with 1 third y cubed. On the right side, we'll have e to the x plus c. Notice I didn't put plus c on the left side. I only need to do it on one side because it's a constant for both. At this point, we can go ahead and solve for y. So I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So I end up with y cubed equals 3 e to the x plus 3c. Again, you can change this and just call this like c1 or a different constant because it is a constant. And now we will take the cube root of this, and we'll have 3e e to the x plus, and I'll just call this c1. You could have called this one up here c1, and then this c, it doesn't matter. Just indicate that you did use another constant there to show that it's both. Okay, for the next problem, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and separate out the variables for number 2, and I'm going to do that by, I'll divide e to the y on each side, and then this will say 3x dx. And then um, let's go ahead and integrate each side. So I'll integrate this side. And on this side, the common mistake is this when you integrate that. And that's not correct, because if we did that, remember the chain rule will tell me this, and then I have to multiply it by that, and that goes away, right? And think about it, ln e to the y, that goes away. So this is not the right integral. What you want to do on this is we want to change this to e to the negative y dy. Integral 3x dx. That'll help you see this problem a little bit better. And now when we integrate this, we're going to get e to the negative y. So I need a negative out in front. And then on the other side, this will be 3 halves x squared plus the c. Okay, now we will have to solve. So let's uh, divide everything by negative 1 first. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and say ln. We'll take the natural log of each side, right? And then this side will end up being uh, negative y equals ln. And this will be negative 3 halves x squared minus c. Now divide by negative 1, and you'll get negative ln of negative 3 halves x squared plus Let's go ahead and just keep that as a, you could keep it as a plus c, you can keep it as a minus c, it doesn't matter because it is a constant. Um, I'm just going to go ahead just for, just for uh, since I wrote it as a negative right there, we'll just go ahead and keep it as a negative c. But again, since it's a constant, you could say plus or minus, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter in this case. Okay, let's take a look at <clears throat> the next one here. All right, we're going to cross multiply again. Actually, we're going to break this apart first. Let's say dy dx, and we're going to say e to the x over e to the y. Notice how I broke this apart by using powers. Um, and this ends up being e to the y equals e to the x. Oops, dy here, dx there. All right, so now we integrate each side. We're going to take the integral of each side, and on the left side, I'll end up with e to the y. On the right side, I'll just end up with e to the x plus c. And then we can take the natural log of e to the y, ln of e to the x plus c. And here we'll just end up with y equals ln of e to the x plus c. Okay. Moving on to the next one. So for this one, let's go ahead and we can, oops, we can uh, 
start here, and we are going, oops, that's a DX. And we can start on the right side by taking out a Y, and we'll have 2X plus X squared. Now we can divide that and say dy over y equals 2x plus x squared dx. At this point, we can integrate each side. And on the left side, we'll, we're going to end up with um, ln absolute value of y equals, on the right side, we'll have x squared plus 1 third x cubed plus c. And now we can say, okay, we want e to each of these, so we can remove that. We get y equals e to the x squared plus one-third x cubed plus c. All of that is raised up there. Now here's what I want to do. I want to break this apart. I want to say y equals e to the x squared plus one-third x cubed times e to the c. All right, so this right here is just going to be my big constant. So I will rewrite this as y equals c1, just that constant, times e to the x squared plus one-third x cubed, like that. Okay, so moving on to the next set of problems. Let's go ahead and slide this up. I'll slide this one up too. For number five, it says, for each problem, find a particular solution of the differential equation that satisfies the initial condition. So this time we have an initial condition. And in this first problem, we know that y of 1 is equal to ln 4 over 2. So we start off the problem the same way. We're going to go ahead and separate the variables. So e to the 2y dy equals 2x dx, and that's just by cross-multiplying. And now I'll go ahead and integrate each side. And on the left side, we end up with 1 half e to the 2y equals, and then on the right side, we'll have x squared plus c. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put in my initial condition. So this is going to be 1 half e to the 2, and this is ln 4 over 2 equals 1 squared plus c. So we're going to simplify this. Those reduce out, and I end up with e to the ln 4, and that's just going to be 4. And on this side, I'll have 1 plus c. So 2 equals 1 plus c, so c is going to be 1. So finishing this problem off, we'll just plug that c back in. So I'll have 1 half e to the 2y equals x squared plus 1. And now we can go ahead and solve for y. So we'll multiply each side by 2, and I'll get 2x squared plus 2. And then we can take the natural log here, and we'll end up with ln of e to the 2y equals ln 2x squared plus 2. So that reduces out, so we end up with 2y equals ln 2x squared plus 2, and then divide this out, so ln 2x squared plus 2, all divided by 2. All right, for the next problem, same kind of situation here. I'm given the initial condition, so let's go ahead and separate the variables. So here I'm going to rewrite this again, just like I did on the problem above. And we'll just say that this is going to be 3 times e to the x over e to the y. And you can put that 3 on top over there. So when we cross multiply, we'll end up with e to the y equals 3e to the x dx. Oops, forgot the dy here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and integrate each side. We'll integrate the left side, integrate the right side. On the left side, we end up with just e to the y. On the right side, we'll end up with 3e to the x uh, plus c. Our initial condition, ln uh, y of negative 2 equals ln 3. So let's put that in. So this becomes e to the ln 
of 3e squared plus 3 over e squared equals 3e to the negative 2 plus c. All right, let's see how we can clean this up. Over here, this reduces out, and we end up with 3e squared plus 3 all over e squared. And this equals 3, and this will be e to the negative 2 plus c. Let's finish this up here. Uh, what I want to do at this point is I'm going to uh, break this apart, and we'll say 3e squared over e squared plus 3 over e squared equals 3e to the negative 2 plus c. Those reduce out, so I have 3 plus, and I'll rewrite this like that. And look at that. It matches this on this side, so those reduce out. So 3 is what c is going to be. So now I have e to the y equals, I'm plugging the c back in, 3e to the x plus 3. Take the natural log of each side, so you end up with ln of 3e to the x plus 3 as your final answer. All right, moving on to the last problem. So let's move all this up. And looking at number 7, let's take a look. Same situation. We're going to go ahead and separate the x's and y's. So I'll have, in this case, dy over, and I'm going to just go ahead and choose to put the 3 on this side too. It doesn't really matter. You could have left it on the right side. And we'll go ahead and integrate each side. On this side, I'll have negative 1 third y to the negative 1 equals x plus c. Probably would have been better to keep it on the right side in this case, but we're going to go ahead and continue on the way I did it. So let's go ahead and put the initial condition in. So I'll have negative 1 third, and this will be negative 1 6 to the negative 1 equals 2 plus c. Well, this ends up being negative 1 third times, this will be negative 6, equals 2 plus c. And go ahead and solve, and you'll get c equals 0. That becomes a 2, and you'll have c equals 0. So our answer ends up being negative 1 third y to the negative 1 <coughs> equals x. And we can just rewrite this solving for y. We'll get negative 1 over, we could say 3y equals x. So y equals negative 1 over 3x. And there you have it. All right, so hopefully this review has helped um, with separating the variables, and make sure you subscribe, and good luck.